Hi, I'm Richard Bernal. Welcome to Kilson Street with Suavecito Pomade. Today we're hosting a band from Los Angeles, California, Manhattan Murder Mystery.
<laughs> Great job. Manhattan Murder Mystery. We'll be right back after a short break. Frank Valdez with Kilson Street TV and welcome to another edition of the Santa Ana Tours and today we come straight from the fucking shopping epicenter, the South Coast Plaza of Santa Ana, the Bristol Indoor Swap Mall and Food Court. What the fuck is a swap mall? There's a lot of reasons why I personally love the Bristol Indoor Swap Meet. I am into fine jewelry. I'm into nutrition. You want some uña de gato. That means cat nails. That's all. It cures cancer. Let's say that you wanted to haggle peanut prices with a Chinese man. Okay, because I bought these for 35 cents before, you know? Did, that the, did the prices go up? Why are you lying with this condom? Because I'm a hungry look, I need the food. You come to the Bristol Swamp Mall. The Bristol Food Court is by far top notch. Um, this is the culinary mecca, I would say, in my opinion, of Santa Ana. I mean, you want everything, they got it here. You want beer, you want pizza, you want Mexican food. the Manhattan murder mystery and uh, let's keep it going but right now let's go with uh, names and ages oh. ages, ages. <laughs> hey, man. We're supposed to be it's, cool. it's relevant to the fucking music man <laughs> we're trying to be cool here what are you doing to us <laughs> reality's actually cool <laughs> all right fair enough i actually don't even know the answer so i'm all right, i'll start I'm laura and um i'm 31 whoa right. i'm about to find out how old people are in this yeah. band I'm Mateo, and I'm 33. I'm Todd. I am 19. Oops. Wow. I'm, I'm 32. My name is Matthew Teardrop. I think. Something like that. Oh, How my. old are you? You're 32? <laughs> you said you said? Wow. Yeah. What? How old does this think? Uh, 30, you look like 31, I would guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Says the 19-year-old. <laughs> I haven't... I haven't heard someone call me 31 in years. Wow. One year. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name is Katya and I'm 37. All right, I'm the second oldest person. I'm actually 33, I guess, so, yeah, all right. Wait, what's your birthday? August 27th. July. All right. So wait, does that make me older? <laughs> How old are you? You're 32. No, that 33. Makes me... I said oh, okay. 33. Okay, well, there we go. We're like the same. We are. What day in August? Brothers. Hey, that's, that's uh, August 27th. To There's other here? people here, too. <laughs> How old are you guys? <laughs> yeah, now everyone in the room. How old are you guys? I'm 32. 32? All right. all right. So we're all in the same ballpark here. Yeah. Same August, ballpark. August 5th. Bullshit. Are Bullshit. you August 5th, too? I'm August 5th. What? what? Yeah. Oh, Happy oh, birthday my, to my you. My Mind freak. <laughs> yeah, that's, oh, that's insane, birthday. dude. Man, my grandma's Take a drink. Birthday. Yeah. Insane. Okay. Let's party every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Crazy. All right, how long has the band been together? And uh, I think it said like 2008. Correct me if I'm wrong, but with a band being together that long, most people uh, don't have their original lineup. Is this original lineup, and how long you've been together? What's the story? Well. I think that's like we're probably at the very end of 2008 or something. I would guess, right? Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah, and yeah. like uh, I moved here from Virginia and I met Laura on Craigslist. Craigslist like, uh, misconnections, right? So uh, uh, ca uh, it was a uh, ca <laughs> casual encounters. <laughs> <laughs> I like put out a dick pic and she's like, "Hey, she's like, that's hey, do you write songs?" Dick I'm looking to hang out with. That dick writes songs. And, uh, and like, we like went through a couple people. We had a different bass player for a while, and then we met Katya. And then from playing around, we met uh, Todd and Mateo, and the rest is 
history. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a drink. It sounded like the theme song to like Gilgan's Island. Mary and the Skipper and the rest. <laughs> <laughs> With a name, it comes from a Woody Allen movie, right? You've yes. asked that a million goddamn times probably. Uh, what's so good about Woody Allen movies anyways? I've never seen one. You never seen a Woody Allen movie? No. Oh, you should watch that one. We're funny. talking about it today. Yeah. Which one are you talking? Oh, Hannah and her sisters is good. Uh, I think it's Annie funny. Hall. Annie yeah. Hall. Annie Hall. That'll that'll get you on the. His movies are really funny. It was kind of just like a random name, we kind of thought of. We were like thinking of a bunch of names and having a hard time, and I was like, "Oh, that this is a cool name," and stuck. I said you guys had a couple pages of other names. I always oh, like yeah. to hear. Were there any uh, other names you guys remember? Uh, was it Little America? Oh was yeah, that? that was the first name I came up with that we had for a little bit was Little America because I was like I was driving to LA from Virginia and I saw this gas station called like it was called Little America. It was like somewhere in like I don't know Wyoming or something. And then when I got to LA, I was living in Little Armenia, and so I was like, that'd be funny if another country had like Little America. And then we were thinking of bad names, and I was like, how about Little America, right? Yeah, yeah. But then, like, this dude, his... He was, like, so excited. Here's where that ended. Yeah, he was, was so like, excited. We were going to these, like, hourly rehearsal spaces at first, when we first started playing. And we kept signing in Little America, and this dude working there was like, hey, uh, you guys know there's already a band called Little America. We well, were he like, what? Little America was, like, coming in to rehearse. Yeah. I remember him saying that. But we, he was full of shit. <laughs> Like, I looked up that band, Little America. There's no one would ever have, like, heard of this band. It was, like, two dudes with an acoustic guitar who played for, like, a couple hair. months in, like, the 80s. Yeah. And, like, didn't have any hits. <laughs> like, there's no reason for anyone to have ever heard of this band. We ran into I think this guy, fan. I think this guy, like, this guy thought we were assholes or something. Maybe he was and he, like, looked us up. Maybe he was like, one of the, like, members. Yeah, did he look like, like one of the guys in I the picture? Oh, maybe, maybe it was. <laughs> Maybe we like stiffed him on a tip or something. And he was like, Little America. We're going to write them like a bad review on their thing or something. And he's like, Oh, there's a band from like the early 80s. Uh, maybe he's a nice guy. I don't know if he's watching. With this recent album, um, what is the song to each of you that each of you super connect with? Which is the one that when you know you're, it's up next that you get um, Puppy Dog with and you know you're going to knock it out? Is there any specific song? Or are they all? Well, I like I wrote kind of all of them, so. <laughs> <laughs> so in my opinion, in my opinion, I think they're all great. <laughs> Which one and gets? Uh, I think everyone should be excited about everyone. My favorite, well, actually, I like was playing in the band early on and then left for a little bit and came back. And the song that really like caught my attention was Honda Prius. Once uh, you wrote that, I was like, all right, we got to do this again. Like that's a crazy awesome song. And thank you. <laughs> and I appreciate you as a person. <laughs> you, you stole my beer, by the way. That's fine. I need it more. <laughs> can I have some of it? Sure, go for it. Oh, where's the... Can we get another beer? Is, there any, <laughs> is there any song oh, that... Uh, I found one. Somebody who hasn't heard the band that you would recommend oh. to start with. Maybe. That's okay. Our friend can be in the thing for a second. That's not uh, a bad start what? one, I think. Honda Either. Prius is probably a good starter. Is it? Yeah. I like... <laughs> I, I just I gotta man. take since we're on the favorite song topic I just gotta shout out uh, Bad Luck Road cause we never play it and it's like it makes me lose my shit every time so oh, you got maybe, the wrong seat maybe <laughs> you should be on the toilet <laughs> Bad Back, Backlick Backlick Road is the, there's, there's, is there's the title of the Backlick song Backlick Road and Bad Luck Blues it's okay like, well the song me. that you like well, Backlick, Backlick that's Road. the next place Backlick Road <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hit that I was. yeah we played Bad Luck Blues. that's gonna be on the next album it's not really right? so I Backlick. might change the name of that song but we can talk about that off well, Bad Luck Blues we can talk about this after the interview we can right? talk about that off camera <laughs> well as a band uh, you guys seem to get along pretty damn well what do you guys as musicians what do you guys do uh for fun other than play music oh, is, it. there's other things <laughs> yeah, <we> like, uh, <laughs> party yeah. uh, I like to watch wrestling uh, Laura party, party? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like well what else do I do I go to work I go with you guys and she does have an awesome job though she does work for in and out so uh oh yeah. tell everybody so we can all just fucking uh, <laughs> bum rush it and uh do you ever see that guy with the like, the like that guy at your work? 
What? The, the In and Out guy. Right. There's an In and Out mascot. Is that the guy from In and Out? The guy with the big like white head. <laughs> no, Jack. 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 What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Matt, Matt's a vegetarian. He doesn't really know yeah. the burger place. <laughs> they got animal style there. Come on, that's great. The animal style. You gotta get on that. So you're from Virginia? Yeah. Originally. Yeah, that's where I grew up mostly. From uh, that's where I can remember growing up. Are any of you else uh, from anywhere else besides uh, Los Angeles? He's from San Diego. I was well, born I was in Mexico born in City. Oh, really? Okay. Wow. Well, yeah, you were born in Mexico. Are you fancy? <laughs> yeah. You live in Orange County or are you live in LA? Oh, I live in Orange County. Oh, sure. Fullerton area. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so why the move, man? Uh, I was, I was kind of like, I was in Virginia most of my whole life and. I had like a bad job and there wasn't really any place to play or anything to do. And so I was like, I'm gonna move to like a big city. And I live like kind of driving distance from New York. And I was like, all right, yeah, I've, I've seen that enough. So I was like, I actually moved to San Francisco first, but that didn't really work out. So I came to, ended up in LA. And what was better about, or what was more uh, accepting in LA? Uh, place to actually live didn't you go to san francisco yeah. for like well, two days what happened was, have a place to i was live. in san francisco for like maybe two months uh i like i had like this one band i knew in la and they're playing a show and i was like oh i'll go drive up and see their show and it's like drive back whatever i didn't have anything else to do but then uh the day i got back i was living in a house with like there's a married couple and this other girl and like it turned out the girl who was renting the rooms out to everybody it was her parents house and they didn't know she was renting out rooms mm -hmm. and she wasn't supposed to be doing that <laughs> and her parents like found out and like she got in this huge fight with my other roommates and she ended up calling her parents and she was like hey these she was like these people are squatting she got in a fight and she t called her parents and told her that these people were squatting in the house. And we had all been paying rent to her. Uh, we had paid deposits she, even. She pocketed all that And cash like, out. yeah, pretty much. So this one night, her parent, her, her like mom comes down and her mom was like nuts. She was like on meth or something and she was like crazy. And she brought this giant dog and she was, it was more like on these, my other roommates than me. But she like brought this giant dog and she was like, I'm going to get these people out of this house. They're like bothering my daughter, which was like not. So she showed up one night with this giant dog and like uh, she like tried to sick it on everybody. And like, <laughs> it like, it didn't take, the dog like wasn't into it. Like, <laughs> the dog was just like hanging out and like, it was like we were petting it like and stuff. It <laughs> but then like, but like my roommates said, called the cops cause they were like, yeah, they knew this lady was gonna come and like try to like have trouble. So they're like, we should call the cops just in case. And the cops happened to be right down the street for like a shooting. This was like in Oakland. And like, so they were at the house in like five minutes, like right after the mom had gotten there with the dog. And like the dog was fine until like, these cops showed up with like their sirens and their lights and that freaked the dog out. So the dog like just ran out of the house and tried to attack the cops. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so the cops were like, this dog was coming out and they were just like, pew, pew, they, like they like shot this dog and like killed it. No, and, fuck. And this is like when I first moved to Oakland and I was like, okay, well this is, yeah, we're not in Virginia anymore. And, oh my God. and like the, the night, the other night I had gone to see my friends and I had a great time. So I was like, okay, maybe that's the sign. Like I should go to LA instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, as a last, <laughs> as a last question, let's take it down to like something else. Um, for the dog. <laughs> what do you guys hope to accomplish with this, with your music? Get people to hear it. Well, yeah. we got Kelson Street already. Yeah. So. Done. Next, uh, <laughs> next stop, the Donut Shop. Next, this, this, that was our last performance. Thank Very you. Next, uh, next show, Krispy Kreme. <laughs> it's like, that's a step up, man. I don't know. We're, we're going to record a new album soon. But hopefully, uh, if you're watching this and you have a bunch of money and want to pay for somebody to have a record, then... Talk, talk, to, talk to us. Where would somebody at contact you guys? At gmail.com. Yeah. Um, and we're also on Facebook and Twitter and everything. Not Instagram, though. We should I didn't think of that. <laughs> we have a hashtag. You can put yeah. on your Instagram. Come on. You're, he's a regular Instagrammer. 
an Instagrammer. And I'm pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I'm an Instagrammer. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, from all of us here at Kilson Street with Salvacito Palmy, we'd like to thank Manhattan Murder Mystery, and thanks for coming. Thank you for having us. Thank, thank you. you. We had a great time. Thank you for the Suavecito. <laughs> it's going to go to use. <laughs> Many a hipster yelper has been deceived by the Waffle House. Confused for a fucking bougie breakfast place? This is not what that is. The Waffle House is actually um, a pretty important part of Santa Ana. It's uh, a history museum. So if you guys are interested in, in finding out about Obama and Bush. A uh, very interesting fact about the Waffle House, it was actually built in 1930 at the at the worst, worst crippling time of the Depression. Um, FDR actually had it built to store all his wheelchairs in there. Till this very day, you can actually go in there and ride around and, and do wheelchair races in old 1930s uh, polio type wheelchairs. And next on our tour of Santa Ana, the old Orange County Courthouse. Santa Ana actually has two courthouses. This is the old Orange County Courthouse, and then there's a new one down the road, which I think is really cool that they decided, you know what? That old courthouse, it's like old. Let's like make a new one, you know? The old Orange County Courthouse is still used till this day, though. Let's say, you know, all your dreams are shattered. You've given up on life, and, you know, you've had a, an accidental kid. Why not make it official and come to the old Orange County Courthouse and get yourself a wedding license right where they used to perform the old-fashioned lynchings. So, guys, this is going to wrap it up for another episode of the Santa Ana Tours. You know, thanks a lot for joining us. We really appreciate it. If you guys can get down in the comment sections, let us know where you'd like to see me. You know, just have fun with it. Remember, check out the Santa Ana Swap Mall for that fine Chinese food. Come to the Orange Courthouse to ruin your life. And go to the Kellogg House, which is apparently a house that was owned by some woman doctor. Can you believe that? A woman doctor? No, I'm just kidding. So check us out next time. Kilson Street. Frank Valdez. Out. Like Ryan Seacrest. Now Manhattan Murder Mystery with their second song entitled Bad Luck Blues.
Don't do that, Mr. Tom.